Can Binance actually fail? Guys and girls, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is going to be even juicier than the previous one. Let's examine the facts and try to understand what would happen if Binance actually failed and how likely is Binance actually to fail or is it all just FUD? So let's take a look at quite a few important things and then come back and take a look at the Bitcoin price as well as BNB price, talk about BUSD and so many other things that to be honest are cataclysmic right now. So you really must watch this video from the beginning and until the end. And remember that if you want to learn my trading strategies and the stuff that I've been using to make money for the last nine years in the financial markets, then go down into the description of this video and join my free webinar, free exclusive webinar that I do extremely rarely and the recordings usually are not available. So we're going to be doing one very soon. So there is a link down below, go register for the next one. We're going to do it very soon. And after this one, I don't know when I'm going to be doing the next one. And the information that I'm sharing during the webinar is so by other coaches for thousands of dollars. So go join it and get it all for free, no strings attached. So uh, first things first, before we get into the juice about Binance, let's first take a look at something positive. Tell me if you guys want something positive, because so many bad things are happening right now. It's unbelievable. But here is something that is actually very substantially positive. And that is that BIS is allowing banks to hold 2% of their reserves in, in cryptocurrencies. Now, I mean, this is huge. So but again, there's going to be a delay on this gratification, so to speak. So from January 1st, 2025. So basically two years from now, banks can hold 2% of their reserves in cryptocurrencies. Why is this huge? Because we need to first understand what is BIS. BIS is almost like BS, but BIS. So the bank, it's Bank for Institutional Settlements. It's an institutional financial institution owned by central banks that fosters international monetary and financial cooperation and serves as a bank for central banks. So this is huge of the huge of the huge, <laughs> in other words. So and this is basically, these are purple ones right here, or the countries that are... Uh, members of this BIS. So it's also United States, South America, it's also Australia, it's also India, China, and it used to be Russia and the whole Europe. So when all of these banks and central banks will be allowed to hold 2% of the reserves in cryptocurrencies, just your mind just went, right? I hope so, because this amount of money, I mean, this is going to be enough to propel Bitcoin to I don't know what how far beyond $100,000 per Bitcoin. And I mean, this is your I mean, you're reading this text, right? So this is absolutely crazy. So okay, now let's move on and talk about the bad stuff, because this is long term perspective. And this is long term perspective bullish. Now let's talk about short term. And let's talk about Binance and whether it's actually likely to fail right now, because Kevin O'Leary and I spoke about Kevin O'Leary in my previous video, and it went absolutely viral. Check it out. I'm going to link it right here. I think that Kevin O'Leary is lying, you know, and I agree with CZ in this situation that it's absolutely crazy. But there is a lot of FUD about Binance right now. So let's examine this. And we've seen this Mazars company, you know, drop every single crypto company out there when it comes to proof of reserves and auditing, which is right now a big scary moment for everyone. But to be honest, is Binance gonna be in the same boat as FTX? And is it gonna be labeled as too big to fail? just to fail uh, the next. And the thing is here that Binance has, to be honest, a longer track record than FTX and proof that it's been able to survive previous crypto winters, including a more than 80% plunge in Bitcoin from December 2017 and the end of 2018's previous bear market. But still, it's been a tough few days. So Mazars, as I just mentioned, um, Mazars' move threatens to cloud an accounting picture many already found weird. So indeed, it was likely that the market's lack of reassurance from Mazars, proof of reserves reports that led the firm to hold all such work. So again, looking quite bad. But now let's get to the main topic that I really want to discuss as to how likely is Binance actually um, to fail. And remember, guys, that all of these things, all of these price movements, we are actually trading most of them in our free community. And if you want to see all of our trades, then go down into the description of this video or into the pinned comment and join our free Discord channel where people are making insane gains. Look at this 156% on just one trade to join this VIP signal section. It's very easy. There is a very brief instruction 
instruction of how to get in. So if you're not part of this in this bear market, then you're not making money. So go join us right now. And now back to the main topic. So BNB and BUSD is what we care about the most in this instance. So we can see that BNB, the native token of Binance, is number five in terms of the size of a cryptocurrency. And then Binance, BUSD being number six. BUSD is about 18 and a half billion dollars and BNB is like 38 billion dollars. So right now, Binance is actually holding about 60 billion dollars worth of reserves, which is, you know, some people say it's 97% of the whole deposited amount. Some say it's 101%, depending on how you look at it. It's not fully transparent, whatever. But I'm certain that this 60 billion dollar reserve is real. And I really doubt that Binance has a hole. What they have a problem with is politics, regulation, all of this for sure. And that's why, you know, there could be a big problem with Binance US. But what we have to understand, it's not about how likely is the Binance to fail. It's rather what will happen if Binance will fail. And guess what? If 60 billion dollars worth of different tokens, because remember about Binance Labs and their venture fund and everything that have been investing in and all the coins that they're holding and Bitcoin, including Bitcoin, if they would be to dump it and go bankrupt or whatever, guess what? Unfortunately, and this actually brings us back to this uh, article right here, if, if it's too big to fail, I think it is in a sense that if they do, and this actually scares me, don't get me wrong, this does scare me. If Binance will fail with this kind of capitalization, this amount of reserves, I think that Bitcoin and all other cryptocurrencies, and I mean, for sure, all the shit coins will go to absolute zero. I think that Bitcoin will wake up to Bitcoin sub $1,000, in my opinion, if Binance fails, because Binance is the ultimate quality sign and symbol partially FTX was as well. So that's why we had this huge sell off. But if Binance fails, guys, it will be the end of crypto. So this is what we have to consider. And is it really likely to happen? The answer is it is possible. Technically, anything is possible in this world. I mean, maybe CZ is going to turn out to be the devil of all the devils were than Sam Bankman Fried. Who the fuck knows really uh, what's happening on the inside and subscribe for me just being honest and like the video and call me Mr. Spot on down in the comments. But the likelihood is, is extremely low. Me and my team just being very transparent. I have a team of analysts that we're working with. We're investing also in different projects. We spoke about this whole outcome that could potentially take place very soon. And we couldn't potentially come up with a scenario, technical, not just philosophical bullshit, but technical scenario where Binance would fail. I don't know what has to happen for it to actually fail. It can suffer, but I really doubt it's going to fail. So if we're going to take a look currently on the Bitcoin price, we'll see that it's trading at about 75% discount from the top. But if we're going to take a look at BNB, which recently just suffered, it still is trading at currently, well, actually, no, this is incorrect. It's currently trading at a 64% discount from its all time high right here. So it's actually still with all the FUD, all the ridiculousness, it's still doing better overall than Bitcoin. So if there would be something really that bad, I think we would have seen a much bigger and deeper crash. Now let's move on to the technicals. Number one, we're still being massively, massively supported by this order block right here at about 225 per BNB, which was, in a, you know, it held up right here in this mass capitulation event. And it is holding up right now. And the volume, yes, we're going down a lot of odd, blah, Kevin O'Leary making a bunch of nonsense noise. But at the same time, which is still dangerous, and you should still be aware of all these things. That's why I'm actually making these videos so that you're actually aware. So subscribe. But the volume isn't really that bad. So I'm not really seeing this even potentially continue, quite frankly, if we're going to go to uh, the weekly chart right here in Bitcoin, then we also going to observe that we certainly are seeing some volume start coming in. But it's not really that big. It's not as big as for example, FTX collapse yet. And also it's not as it's not even anywhere close. To, so it's it's not that bad looking. And let's go to quickly, let's go to a smaller time frame, for example, the daily chart and take a look at the volume, you will see again, the volume is very indicative of what is happening. And we're going to see that the volume isn't really that huge. And also for our chart, the volume is actually going down. So I'm not seeing this as being something that is going to send Bitcoin down to $10,000 as of yet, unless certainly, please note that if it's going to come out 
into the light that Binance has been stealing money from their investors, just like FTX and Sand Bankman Fraudster. The shit is the situation is going to change very fast. So for now, I think that the floor for us in this instance could be still around this order block for Bitcoin, because I'm just not seeing that huge mega capitulation volume to just push it much lower and lower and lower and lower. Not financial advice, just what I'm personally seeing. But let me know, guys and girls, what do you think down in the comments? And as always, check out this quick tutorial on how to trade properly with proper risk and money management. Join my free webinar. We're going to be going live very soon. There is a link down in the description. Join our free Discord channel. And as always, peace and love. Thomas Kralo. Stay smart, stay rich, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.